So if you're using Thunderbird for your emails, you want to go into your email program. And depending on what it looks like, if you don't have the file edit view at the top, you've got to press the Alt button on the keyboard, which will actually show you the file edit view and all those bits and pieces. And you want to go to Tools. And inside Tools, you want to go down to Account Settings. Once you're in Account Settings, you want to click on this outgoing SMTP. And you'll see there, there's just the one outgoing thing, which is at bigpond.com. I'm going to edit this. And from here, I'm going to change that server name to smtp.telstra.com. I'm going to change this security here to SSL slash TLS. Change this authentication method to normal password. Change this number here to 465 and put in the email address that you have. And when you try and send an email next time, it will ask you for the password for your email address. That's how to solve the problem inside of Thunderbird. If you're using Windows Live Mail, for people who are still doing it to this day, you've got to go into the File section and then go to Options, go to Email Accounts. From here, you want to click on your email account and go to Properties. From here, I want to click on the Server section and I'm going to change this outgoing SMTP server, that one there, to smtp.telstra.com. I'm down the bottom here, it's got a, my outgoing server requires authentication. I'm going to tick in that box. Then I'm going to go off to the advanced section. And it's got here outgoing mail, SMTP number 25. But it's got here this server requires a secure connection SSL. I'm going to tick that box and then make sure I change this number 25 to number 465. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on the OK button, click on the close button, and your email should then work once again to send out. If you're using Outlook for your emails, I want to go into the control panel. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Windows Start button and just type in Control. Windows will work out what I'm after, and there you can see Control Panel. I'm then going to go to Mail 32-bit in this case. You might just have Mail there. And I'm going to go to Email Accounts at the top here. So there's the email account. I'm going to go to the Change just here. I'm going to change this outgoing mail server to smtp.telstra.com. Then click on More Settings. I'm going to go to the outgoing server section where I'm going to say my outgoing server requires authentication. It's automatically said the same settings for the incoming server for that, which is good. I'm going to go to the advanced section. I'm going to change this outgoing number here to 465 and change this encryption type to SSL. Click on the OK button, click on the next button and click on finish. Close this and close everything else. And then when you go back into Outlook, email should be working once again. So on the Mac, if you want to try and do things on the Apple, you've got to go into your email program. Go up to the word mail, top left hand corner, and you've got to go into settings. From settings, you want to go into the accounts section. And we're going to go over the right hand side here to service settings. From here, we have to make sure that we put in your email address into the username section. If you haven't already got your password in there, make sure your password is typed into this password section as you're going to need this. I want to change this host name to smtp.telstra.com. I'm also going to untick this automatically manage connection settings. I want to make sure that we have in port, we want it to be 465. We want to use this TLS SSL and make sure the authentication method is password. We'll click on the Save button. Now this isn't going to work because this isn't a real account. Once you've done that, I also then recommend changing the automatically managed connection settings back on again because it's already got the new settings into there. Click on Save again, and again it won't work because this isn't on an actual account. And that's done for Apple. On the Windows side of things, a couple of other programs that we might need to look at. M client. Up the top left hand corner we have the we have the three little lines. Click on those. We want to go down to accounts. Inside accounts, 
we have to go into the SMTP section that's here. We want to change this host to smtp.telstra.com. This port has to be changed to port 465. And we want to make sure that we do use SSL TLS. And we do have to have it being quite requires authentication. Once we've got that done, click on the save and close. The program built into Windows 10 and Windows 11 called Windows Mail. It has its own way of doing things once again. We've got to click on the settings at the bottom of the screen here. We have this little circle settings. We have to go to manage accounts. And there we can see our big pond account. Click on that. And we want to go change settings. We have to change the mailbox sync settings and scroll down a bit, a little bit and you'll see here incoming and outgoing mail server info. Click on that one. Now this one we want to change all of this to the new system which is pop.telstra.com. Got to do a colon and it's 995, another colon and one. And outgoing SMTP server, smtp.telstra.com colon 465 colon 1. We do have to tick the box for outgoing server requires authentication and we want to require SSL for both incoming and outgoing emails. Click on the done button and that is ready to go. Click on save.